So let's talk about IS 12 paragraph 15. So paragraph 15, this is a real tricky one. Uh, this is uh, an area of deferred tax where students get stuck a lot just in understanding what this paragraph actually means. And so in this example, or at least in this video, I want to talk about what the paragraph is, uh, when, when this paragraph would apply and how you can identify it in a practical setting. Okay, so if we read paragraph 15, paragraph 15, number one, deals with taxable temporary differences. Okay, so that's very important. Okay, we're dealing with taxable temporary differences. And it says that we are going to recognize a deferred tax liability for all taxable temporary differences. Okay, so this would give rise to a deferred tax liability. However, there are certain circumstances where we are exempt from recognizing deferred tax. So what does that mean? It means that there are certain circumstances where we are going to have taxable temporary differences, but we will not account for deferred tax. So when would that arise? Okay, firstly, it's on the initial recognition of goodwill. Okay, so if you have goodwill, you're not going to recognize um, deferred tax. I think maybe I'll do another uh, short video later on about uh, this topic. So, um, yes, I'm going to put that on my agenda of things to talk about. But I want to talk about the initial recognition of an asset or liability. So this is the interesting one. Okay, so this one talks about initial recognition of an asset and liability or liability and the important part here is initial recognition okay so you need a temporary difference okay a taxable temporary difference on initial recognition and only once you have this scenario can you even begin to consider whether you should provide for deferred tax okay so it says that if you have um a taxable temporary difference on initial recognition and it is not in a business combination okay and at the time of the transaction neither tax profit okay uh, nor accounting profit was affected okay so if you meet that criteria then you will be um, exempt from dividing the pro, pro, from providing sorry uh, deferred tax okay so then there will be no deferred tax now again before I get into the example it's important we have on initial recognition okay we have this uh, taxable temporary difference now let's think about um, a property okay so if we think of a property and let's have my property over here and here's the building so this over here this portion over here that is my land and that is my building okay so I've got a building over here hmm, looks kind of like a face but anyway okay so this is my building and this here is my land now the question is when or would deferred tax, would the exemption apply in the case where you have land or building and the building does not have any uh, deductions? Okay, would that happen? Okay, so the first thing to understand is when you're dealing with the land and the building, you have to separate out the two. Okay, so you've got to think about the land and you've got to think about the building uh, separately. Why do we think about them separately? Okay, because the um the tax consequences are different okay so the land there is a presumption that it's going to be recovered through sale okay so we're going to be recovering it through sale which means that um if we are recovering the land through sale there would probably be some sort of capital gains tax implication the building we are going to be recovering through use okay um and there would be some sort of depreciated depreciation hitting our income statement now if we do not get any sort of wear and tear any allowances then we have a bit of a problem in the case of the building because at initial 
okay? Recognition. Think about what we have. So at initial recognition, the carrying amount equals whatever the cost of the building is. Now, if you think about the tax base, the tax base would be the future deductions, right? And I'm going to post another video on the tax base of an asset, so look out for that. Okay, um, so the tax base are going to be the future deductions, but if there's no future deductions, then it's going to be null, which means that on initial recognition, there's going to be some sort of temporary difference. Now, because we have a temporary difference on initial recognition, and at the time, neither accounting profit nor tax profit was affected, we would then apply paragraph 15. How do we know that accounting profit wasn't affected? Well, there was no expense or income recognized. How do we know the tax profit wasn't affected? There wasn't any deduction granted. So therefore, we know that paragraph 15 um, can apply. So in this case, if we're looking at the tax consequences of the building, we can say um, we don't have to account for deferred tax. Paragraph 15 applies over here. Okay, so even though the land doesn't have any wear and tear, okay, we need to think about what the tax consequences are going to be for the land. So when we um recovering the land, it is going to be recovered through sale, right? And so that means that there's going to be CGT when we sell it. Now, if we think about um, what the situation is on our initial recognition, okay? Remember, we're thinking initial recognition. So my carrying amount is going to be whatever the cost of the land is. Now, the tax base is the future deductions, but the future deductions in the case of the land would be the base cost because it is um, going to be subject to CGT. The base cost in this case is equal to the cost, so that means that at initial uh, recognition, there is no temporary difference. Okay, so if there's no temporary difference, it means that para 15 could not apply in any case because we don't have a temporary difference. So that's why you can have two, you can have one property, but when we separate it into the two and we look at the underlying tax consequences, we can have para 15 applying in one uh, to the one part of the property, which is the building, but not to the land. I hope that that explanation was useful to you. And I will see you around in the next video.